Hello, welcome to Vegas Movie Studio 11 Demo, Episode 1, The Trimmer. For this particular demo, I'm going to use uh, drag and drop to get a video file into the project media bin. And I've already selected a, a video file that I want to use for this demonstration, so I'm going to drag and drop it into my project media bin. There it is. To get it into the trimmer, there are a couple different ways to do it. You can right click on the video clip and click on Open in Trimmer or highlight the video clip and press the enter key and that puts it into the trimmer as you can see the trimmer also has a timeline that you can use this navigation this timeline navigation bar to slide along your uh, video just like your main project timeline has down at the bottom okay um, now the trimmer also has its own play tools uh, such as stop play pause etc so you can actually watch the footage in the trimmer and, tr and um, edit it and cut it as you're watching it. Now um, the keyboard shortcut is spacebar for play and pause in the trimmer. Okay, but I'm going to use this slider um, uh, for this demo. So let's go ahead and start cutting some clips. Um, let's start at the very beginning. A lot of times when you have footage, it's 15, 30 minutes long, and the beginning has a bunch of dead time, and I'm trying to get rid of it. And oh, now I'm starting to get some action. Okay over to the right are your video editing tools. The Step number one is you have to set an endpoint and an out point. The keyboard hotkeys or the keyboard shortcut keys for setting an in and an out point conveniently is the letter I for in and the letter O for out. So I'm going to set an endpoint right here by pressing the letter I and as you can see right above my cursor there's a yellow triangle there's actually two of them right now but one of those is the set is the endpoint indicator so I want to see that now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my cursor and I'm gonna scroll along here and I'm just for demonstration purposes I'm just gonna get this first jump usually I would just go ahead and get the entire sequence into a clip but for this one I'm just gonna stop right here I'm gonna press the letter O for an out point now you can see above my cursor there's the other yellow triangle the out point indicator um, and also what it does is it takes that portion of the video and turns it and highlights it blue. So now we know we have selected that portion of our video. Step number two, create a region. That's those these two dark green flags. The, key, the keyboard shortcut is the letter R. So I'm going to press the letter R to create a region. What happens is a little green flag shows up with a number. This is my very first region, so it's number one. It also has a little text dialog box where you can name your region. And make sure you name it something that makes sense. Because once you start getting a lot of clips in your project media bin, um, you want them to make sense. Now there are other ways to manage your clips, but that's another demo. Okay, so Jason Jump 1 is what I'm going to call it. Step number 3, and this is the step that gets that takes this clip and puts it into your project media bin, and that's create a subclip. Now you can see this little turquoise with a little burst in the middle of it is create subclip. So I'm going to click on that, and it names the subclip for you using the same name that you used for the region. So I'm okay with that. You can either hit the enter key or click enter. Or I'm sorry, click OK. Now I'm going to go to my project media tab, and there it is. Highlighted in blue, it says Jason Jump 1. There's my clip. Good. So I'm going to go back to the trimmer. I'm going to continue editing. Now, um, Let's see, yeah, I'm going to start here, so I'm going to press I to set my endpoint. My endpoint indicator now shows abo up above my cursor. I'm going to go ahead and scroll along the timeline. Oop, I went a little too fast, I shouldn't have done that. And, yeah, I like that right there, that looks good. I'm going to press O to set my out point. That portion of the video now highlights blue, and I've identified my loop region. I'm going to press the letter R to create the region. Region number two, I'm going to name it Jason Jump. Two, and for demonstration purposes only, I am going to skip step number three, which is create a subclip. I'm going to continue on, and you continue on like this all the way to the end of your video. You just keep, you know, identifying your highlights, whatever the parts of the video you want to use in your project. Next, I, you know, I have a lot of dead space, and then all of a sudden I see Tyler, so now I'm getting some action again. And I want to hit the letter I to set my endpoint. I'm going to scroll along here. I'm watching the video. Um, looks like he missed the second jump. I don't like that, so I'm going to back it up a little bit. I don't need that. And I'm going to press the letter O there to set my out point. My video is highlighted blue. I'm going to press the letter R to create my region. I'm going to call it Tyler Jump 1. And I'm going to create a subclip. It names it Tyler Jump 1. I'm okay with that. 
I go back to my project media bin, I see it highlighted blue, but what I don't see is JSON jump 2. It's missing. So I'm going to go back to the trimmer. Now, each of these regions can be selected, and when you select them, you click on the green flag, and when it's selected, the green becomes transparent, so now it looks gray, and the, and the number becomes black. So if I so that's what happens when I select region number two and when I select region number one. So region number two happens to be JSON jump two, which is what I want to get into my project media bin, and I forgot to create the subclip. So I select the region and click on create subclip, and here's what I want you to notice. It says Tyler jump one. It doesn't say JSON jump two. Well, the reason is the create subclip button is creating a subclip based on the footage in between the in and the out point indicators, the two yellow triangles. It's not creating a subclip based on the selected region. It's very important to remember. Okay, so the, I'm going to click cancel because I don't want Tyler Jump 1. I already have that subclip. Now, you don't need to move your in and your out point indicators back over to region 2 to create a subclip. There's a better way, and that's, you know, that's the whole reason, the whole purpose of creating regions in the first place is you know to make it a little bit easier to create your subclips so with the selected region you right click on the green flag you get another menu and there's a create subclip tool right there on that menu this create subclip tool creates a subclip based on the selected region so I'm gonna click on create subclip I'm gonna go back to my project media bin and sure enough I have JSON jump to okay back to the trimmer last tool now the last um, tool we have in the trimmer here is called a marker and um, I've used markers I don't use them that often um, you don't have to use them but let's say you're watching this and you just you set you like you, you see a really cool jump and you're like okay right here is where I've got to put the text I've got to put his name or her name right here um, and I've got another hour's worth of video editing to do so I'm going to create a marker. So I'm going to either, either click on insert marker or press the letter M. I'm going to press M. And I'm going to put uh, text here. You can name it whatever you want. The point of it, the point being is that you've now kind of got a reminder or a marker of where you want the text to start or where you want the music to start or the music to transition or you want a certain note or something. And that's what uh, that's the purpose of a marker. Now, there's a save markers and regions, which I get in the habit of clicking. So I'm going to click save markers and regions. Let me show you kind of why. I'm going to go back. I have my main video clip here. I'm going to delete it, so it's gone. So I'm going to go um, back to Windows Explorer, drag my video clip into my project media bin. This time I'm going to right click and click on open and trimmer and there are all my regions and markers. It saved them all. So if I so no matter what project I use this video in it's going to have my um, regions and markers which is kind of nice if I was to also take this entire video clip and put it into my project timeline you can see um, you can see that the regions show up on the video file now Jason jump one Jason jump two text here I can see all that stuff and uh, just as a side note if you scroll your mouse wheel it will zoom in and out on your timeline so if you have a really tiny clip and you're having a hard time working with it just click get your navigation bar in there once you start to scroll um, you know it'll zoom in on that 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 cursor and that covers the trimmer thank you for watching